Like, knowing the joint density function, find the density function of Z. So again, let's look at the distribution function of Z. So that's probability of Z less than or equal to Z. But look at here, Z is given to be X minus Y. So essentially, we have to see the region where this inequality is satisfied in the XY domain. Remember, the joint density function is here. So where is this region, anyone? So draw this line first with equality. How does that go? X minus Y equal to Z. Anyone? Always you show like this. This is X minus. Huh? So, so you just uh, look at here. I put X equal to 0. Y is minus Z. So you get one point. Put y equal to 0, x is z. So the line goes this way. This is the line x minus y. So where is this region, x minus y less than or equal to c? So we are integrating where? This side or this side? All right, so I hope you see everywhere. So we can, either way, you can take a strip like this. So what will be the limits on that strip? Anyone? What are we integrating with respect to? x. X goes from? And Y goes from? All right, so in general, so from here, FCC is the derivative of this with respect to Z. So minus infinity to plus infinity, the derivative of this. Again, same thing, derivative of this with respect to Z, what do you get? One, and the variable of integration for this integral? What is the variable here, uh, here? What are we integrating with respect to? X. X. So wherever X is, this will go and sit here. So this is going to be Fx, Y, Z plus Y comma Y. And the derivative of this zero, derivative of this with respect to C, nothing. So this is it, basically. You could have taken a, a vertical strip also. So if x and y are independent, this will become the product. And if you want, this is not really convolution, but it is the convolution of fx evaluated at minus z, et cetera, if you want to express it. So let's uh, try to do the exponential problem here and see what happens. Uh, let's say, in other words, what I'm trying to say, I want to do the same problem, but the two random variables are non-negative. So think for a minute, if x and y are non-negative, what happens to x minus y? Anybody? X is, x is positive, y is positive. How about x minus y? So there are what, two cases, right? Uh, what you, uh, uh, so when z is positive, this will be what? So let's look at, so keep that in mind, there are two cases. So FCC would be exactly the same thing, right? Uh, so it is this region. So you definitely have two cases, Z positive and Z negative, right? So when will Z be positive, when? Right. So when x is greater than y, how will this graph look like? Is it this way? So we have two cases. Let me draw, the, because we need to find the region x. So the formula is still the same, x minus y less than or equal to z. So let me do it for z positive and uh, z negative. So remember, we are, the two random variables are non-negative. If z is positive, uh, this region, where will it be? x minus y equal to z. z positive. So uh, look, uh, put x, x minus y equal to z, put y equal to 0, x is, z. z is positive, so the point will be here. Put y equal to, x equal to 0, z, x, y is? So it will be this way, right? So where are we integrating? Anybody? But only only this region, right? And how about here? Let's see. We'll do it together. So we are just integrating from here to here, then here to here. 
So here if z is negative, put y equal to 0, x is z, but z is negative. That means x is negative. Uh, uh, x is 0, y is minus z, c is negative, so y is positive. So the line will be like this. So where are we integrating? So this is what you need to figure it out. Where are we integrating? Remember, the whole region is here to the left of this line. So I hope it is clear you're integrating over here. Once you figure this out, we can write this up, right? So FCC is going to be two regions, uh, Z positive, Z negative. So Z positive, it's here, right? So this is double integral FXY, X comma Y, DX, DY. Tell me the limits, 0 to? Huh? 0 to z here. After all this, look at here. This line is x minus y equal to z. So x goes from this point to this point. And y goes from? All right, so that's good. That's this region. This is for z positive. And uh, z negative, how will it be? So you plug it in there. This will be double integral fxy, x comma y. Let me again integrate dx dy. x goes from, look at the graph. And y goes from? Minus z, isn't it? This point is not z. This point is a minus z. Z is negative, so minus z is positive, which is good. So. All right, so that you plug it in here, and I'm going to take the derivative of that and put it here. Let's see. So remember, this is your FZ, uh, capital FZZ. It's either this or this. Right? So small FZZ is, uh, so the derivative, look at here, the derivative of this with respect to Z. Here there is nothing to do. Here one. And this goes and sits where x is. So I hope uh, so this is for z positive. And in the other case, all right, so we need to take the derivative of this. I mean, derivative of this is 0. Derivative of this is uh, minus 1 minus minus 1, so that becomes plus. Then you put this uh, in wherever the variable, here the variable is y. So wherever you see y, you have to put uh, minus z. So then this integral becomes 0 to 0, so no contribution. Third term is the derivative of this, which, uh, so I hope you, this will turn out to be for z negative. And now I'm, I'm not going to do the final last. To complete this, suppose x and, x and y are exponential with parameter lambda, and x and y are independent. So that's this case, right? Two random variables which are non-negative. So I want you to go home and just take this and plug it in here and simplify and see what happens. Because the density function, you know, we wrote it somewhere, right? So each fx axis. x over lambda, et cetera. So you'll see it is not, it's something complicated. It's not uh, anything nice, I think. 